It is a beautiful summer day here in Astoria, Queens at Rainy Park. Today I'm going to one of the most unique spots in New York City, Roosevelt Island. There are a couple ways to get there. You can go by subway, tramway, ferry boat, bus, or you could walk there, which is what I'm doing. Right behind me is the Roosevelt Island Bridge, also known as the Welfare Bridge. It goes over the East River, and it's the only thing separating me between Roosevelt Island. Let's go. I made it to Roosevelt Island. Now, in order to be thorough, I'm gonna explore the entire island. I'm gonna circle the whole thing, tip to tip, gonna see it all. Let's do it, no excuses. Look how beautiful this community garden is. Absolutely stunning. I don't think it's open though, but uh, next time. I'm currently walking north on the island. I'm heading towards a place called Lighthouse Park. Guess what? There's a lighthouse there and it is a park. So I'm at Lighthouse Park now at the northern tip of Roosevelt Island. Behind me is the historic lighthouse. Really old, really beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. So now I'm going to be going south on the other side of the island and uh, completing that circle. So right now, I'm walking down the western side of uh, Roosevelt Island, heading south. This side is much better than the other because right across from it is the Upper East Side skyline and uh, Midtown Manhattan, so much better views. I like this side way better. Yeah, my elbow just touched a uh, foreign surface, so gotta sanitize. Speaking of germs, Roosevelt Island is probably one of the best places to be during this pandemic. I mean, there's hardly anyone here to begin with. It's so vacant now, it's so peaceful. It's such an oasis away from the hustle and bustle of Manhattan, or even Queens for that matter. However, that's one of the problems for me with Roosevelt Island. It is too quiet. I like living in a place where there's lots of activity, lots of things happening, tons of restaurants. And here, you just don't really have that. But, you know, this neighbor is not for me, but it can be perfect for somebody else. However, I love coming here every once in a while. I mean, it is a beautiful place. There's amazing parks, amazing scenery. It's wonderful. So right now I'm on the main street of Roosevelt Island, or pretty much one of the only streets, and I really need to find some coffee. As I have learned today, there are not many places on Roosevelt Island for coffee. Thankfully, there's good old reliable Starbucks. So, got my coffee here, I'm happy. I'm along the beautiful riverfront and I'm gonna do a little reading, take a little break. Well, I'm glad I got my coffee. I could have kept going though, but I need coffee at that certain time of the day. I mean, it is essential. So I was just thinking, there's really only two things a traveler needs to know when they're going someplace, at least for me. This may not apply for everyone. It's one, where's the coffee? And two, where's the bathrooms? Other than that, I'm just fine wandering, exploring, discovering. As long as I have coffee and toilets, all's good. So the current book I'm reading is a Perry Mason story, The Case of the Sunbather's Diary. I've only read about half. So far, so good. I mean, it's a quick, pleasant read. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know how it's gonna end up, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it.
So, just finished with my coffee. I am happy and caffeinated. Feeling great. Now, this area is really, really nice. I mean, it looks stunning now. It's this long stretch of uh, green trees and benches, but in the spring, it's literally one of the most beautiful sightings in New York. All these trees are blooming. They're actually cherry blossoms, and it was stunning. Now, during that time, it was the middle of pandemic this April, there was no one here, and it was magical. So I'm continuing my way south and I'm heading towards the FDR for Freedom State Park. They got a new kind of exhibit there. I'm not really sure what, you know, the exhibit could be. I just know that they have the stairs painted and it looks cool. So, you know, something to do. I'm excited to see it. made it to FDR for Freedom State Park and behind me are the really coolly decorated steps uh, commemorating the 19th amendment. The amendment says the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. So this is it, southern tip of Roosevelt Island, right in between Manhattan and Long Island City. We did it. It was a long day and I still got a long walk back, but we did it. So behind me, in my opinion, is one of the coolest parts of Roosevelt Island, the former smallpox hospital. It is an abandoned room now, but I mean, it is beautiful in a way. Also looks like it belongs in a horror movie, but still, I think it's beautiful. So behind me is a portion of Cornell University's campus. I think it's part of the architecture school. I don't know, but either way, really beautiful buildings right by the Queensboro Bridge. Got a great grass field here. Really stunning scenery. I did it. Back to where I started, the Roosevelt Island Bridge. About to head back home. It was an epic day. Did a lot of stuff, took a lot of photos, tons of video, had a lot of great memories. So I ran out of water, I'm very dehydrated right now. Ran out of sunscreen, I'm sunburnt all over. I went through two camera batteries, almost done with this one, my last one. Used up almost an entire SD card. Did a lot, very tired. But um, you know, these minor inconveniences, they all, they'll dissipate. But these memories, the memories I made today, those will last. Great day.